welcome once again to Blue Market Academy Online Teaching. And last week we discussed about the meaning of fraction and also the part of fraction. We said the meaning of fraction is fraction is a part of a O. Likewise, the two parts of fraction is the numerator and also the denominator. What is the numerator? We said numerator is the upper part of a fraction, the one at the top. And likewise, we said denominator is the lower part of a fraction. So today we will continue from where we stopped and we'll be looking at the types of fraction. Good. There are two types of fraction. I repeat, there are two types of fraction. And the first one is proper fraction and the second is improper fraction. All right. Now, what is proper fraction? Good. A proper fraction is a fraction whose numerator, that is the one at the top, the number at the top, is less than the denominator. I repeat, a proper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is less than the denominator. Now, in real-time example, we can also liken proper fraction to a mother and a child. Good. For instance, this is the mother and this is the child. Good. Now, proper fraction, using this example, we can liken it that a mother carrying, this is the mother, now carrying a child. Simple. So that is, the child, which is the smallest, is on top of its mother. Thank you. Likewise, now let's go to its numbers form. Now, when we want to talk about fraction in number form, we say that any number that is the smallest will be at the top, which is in the numerator part, and also the bigger number will be at the denominator. For instance, we said 1 all over 3. That is, 1 is smaller, while 3 is bigger. Which other example? Okay, 5 over 13. Let's go higher now. Let's have another example. Now we can also have 56 over 90. So just think of any example. So far the number at the top is smaller and the number if the number below, which is the denominator, is bigger, that gives us a proper fraction. Thank you. All right, now let's move to improper fraction. What is improper fraction? An improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is greater or bigger than the denominator. Again, an improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is greater or bigger than the denominator. Now, using a real life example, we can also use a mother and a child. In this pattern, you will not see that the child, which is the smallest, is now carrying its mother. Can you see now? This act is improper. And that is why we liken it to an improper fraction. That is, the smallest will be the denominator, while the biggest will be the numerator. Thank you. Now, let's use numbers. Now, example, we can also use part of our proper fraction. That is, 13 over 5. 13, the bigger number becomes the numerator, and 5, the smaller number, becomes the denominator. Let's use another example, 90 over 56. Which other example can we get? Okay, 72 over 15. So like that, you can also suggest any example. So far, the number at the numerator is bigger than the number at the denominator. So, so you have your improper fraction. 
Do you understand? Good. All right. Now let's move to missed number. Now, a missed number consists of a whole number and a fraction. Now, why we didn't include it as type of a fraction is because it consists of a whole number and what? A fraction. Thank you. Now, let's suggest in a real time example, we can also liken it to a nuclear family that consists of a father, a mother, and their child. Good. Now, the combination of the father representing a whole number and the mother carrying a child so this example can form a missed number do you understand good now let's go to the num numbers form now what is all number all number are words or all numbers are numbers that start with one two three Till thousands, millions, trillions. So these are all numbers. So when you now match a whole number together with any fraction, let's say one over three. So this is an example of a missed number. Thank you. Now, let's have another example. We have five whole number, 13 over 15. 12 whole number, so it can be any number in form of its own number. So, so far that it is merging with a fraction, that makes it a missed number. All right, 12 whole number, 1 over 20. So any form of number that represents this form is likened to be what? A missed number. Thank you very much. So now we have some activities whereby you have to pick or circle out now the, the types of fraction in which they represent. The first one here is circle the proper fraction in the following. So you have to circle which one is a proper fraction out of the list of all these. So if this is a proper fraction, then you circle it out. If this is, so all these 2 over 5, 4 over 3, is it a proper fraction? 9 over 11, 17 over 21, and likes. Likewise, the second one, you have to cycle the improper fractions in the following. So, is 8 over 7 an improper fraction? 17 over 71, 52 over 25, and likes. So, you have to just cycle it out to show that you, have, you know what you are doing. Now, the last one is cycle the missed number in the following. So which number out of the list of all these numbers are missed number? So we have 5 over 11. Is 5 over 11 a missed number? 1 whole number, 4 over 5. 7 over 11. 3 whole number, 4 over 5. 19 whole number, 1 over 2. And lastly, 13 over 15. So please, I want you all to do this. So thank you very much. We'll miss, meet next time. I remain your teacher, Mr. Femi Adekobo. Have a nice day. Stay cool.